Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about finding the total capacitance in a circuit. So the first thing you need to know is that there's two ways your capacitors can be connected. The first is if your capacitors are in parallel. That would look something like this. Your circuit branches off into two sections. And let's say the top one is C1 and the bottom one is C2. If you wanna find the total capacitance in parallel, then it's literally just gonna be C1 plus C2, very simple. By the way, this is the opposite for resistors. Resistors are very difficult in parallel and very simple in series. Capacitors are literally the opposite rules. So that means when I have capacitors in series, which would look something like this, where C1 and C2, then if you wanna find C total here, it's gonna be a complicated equation. One over C1, plus one over C2 to the negative first power. You might see something different in your notes. You might see this in your notes, one over C total equals one over C1 plus one over C2. I'm here to tell you this is literally the exact same thing. I like my equation better because it has the negative first power in the equation, which if you use this version, you'll basically have to do that anyway. So I like my version better. So now with that, let's look at some examples where we're actually gonna find the total capacitance in a circuit. So let's say I have these two points and I would like to find the capacitance of the whole circuit that looks something like this. Let's say this is five farads, this one is seven farads, this one is six farads, and this one is three farads. And I wanna find the total capacitance between these two points a and B. So the first thing you need to know is whenever you have like a lot of capacitors like this, you can only combine one section at a time. So for instance, the two options you could do is you could either combine these first or you can combine these first. My recommendation is to combine the red one I had circled and then erased it. Let me draw it again. Definitely combine those two first. The reason why is because after you combine these two, you're just gonna be left with one capacitor which will be in parallel with the other two. And you'll be able to save yourself a little bit of work. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just wait a minute, you'll see. But first I gotta combine the six and the three in series. These are in series, by the way. So that means I'm doing the weird C total equals one over six plus one over three to the negative first power. If you plug this in a calculator, you're just gonna get two, which is very friendly numbers. I did that on purpose. Now what I like to do is I like to redraw the circuit. I think it's always a good idea to do that. So then now we still have the five farad and the seven farad from before, but now we're left with just one two farad capacitor at the end. And now since all three of these are in parallel, now you can add all three at once. And that's what I was saying earlier. So then here C total is just gonna be five plus seven plus two. That gets me 14. 14 farads is our final answer, easy as that. So then now let's look at another example with another circuit. For this one, I'm gonna have something a little more complicated. I'm gonna have two capacitors in parallel connected to another two capacitors in parallel. And then in the bottom here, I'll throw in one more capacitor right here for good luck. And now I'd like to find the total capacitance. And as if this weren't challenging enough, I'm going to add an extra layer of challenge by setting the net on fire. Wait, no, this is not my trapeze act. Instead, I am going to set all of the capacitors equal to C, and I don't know what C is, it's, it's some constant, but I want my final answer in terms of C, which I know all of you hate. So then here's what I'm going to do first. I need to combine two capacitors. Doesn't always have to be two, but in this case, I'm gonna combine these two right here. And if I want to, all in the same step, I can also combine these two as well, since they're both in parallel and they're not technically connected to each other, it's gonna be fine. So remember, since they're in parallel, it's just gonna be simple addition, C plus C equals two C. Both of them are gonna have values of two C. So now if I redraw it, it looks something like this. One capacitor here, one capacitor here, one capacitor in the middle there. This one's two C, this one's two C, and this is just C. Now the challenge question for you, which two capacitors will I add next? If you said these two in parallel, you would be incorrect because first you have to add these two, which are in series. 
And since they're in series, we have to do the weird math, where c total equals 1 over c plus 1 over 2c, and all of that is to the negative first power. If you want to solve this, you're going to need a common denominator. That means I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2, no problem. I'm going to get 2 over 2c plus 1 over 2c to the negative first power. This will become 3 over 2c to the negative first power. And remember that negative first power is just inverted, in other words, reciprocal. It's going to be 2c over 3, or if you prefer, 2 thirds c, which you probably do prefer that. So then now I'm just down to two capacitors left. I've got my 2c right here, and right here I've got my 2 thirds c. And since these two are in parallel, this is going to be very easy to add. I'm just going to add them directly. It's going to be 2c plus 2 thirds c. Oh no, I need a common denominator again. Don't panic. I'm just going to multiply this by 3 over 3. It's going to be 6c over 3 plus 2c over 3, giving me a final answer of 8c over 3 or 8 thirds c. And this really can't be simplified any more than that. So this is our final answer there. So hopefully this is starting to make sense now. These capacitor problems can be tricky. And just remember that it's the exact opposite math for what we do for resistors when it comes to the series in parallel. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.